Hello everyone, today we're gonna have the area ratio of similar figures. I put a little note over here. Um, if two figures are similar, then the ratio of their areas is equal to the square of the ratio of their corresponding side lengths. So it, this is pretty much similar to the other video that talks about um, parameter ratio of similar figures. I will put the link of that video in the description box below. So the only difference is that we got the area here and air, area of the first picture and area of the second picture. So we have side length M and side length T. So if these two uh, figures are similar, this formula would work. A sub 1 or area of the first um, picture over the area of the second figure is equal to the square of the first side length over the square of the second side length, which is the first side length here is M, the second side length is T. Now let's have an example to better see this um, um, formula that we have over here. So let's take the first one here. So I have written the formula for um, area ratio here. So that I'll put that over there so we can use that in solving for this problem here. So again, area one would be 300. So I'm gonna, I'm just gonna use this equation over here. This is our M and this is our T and this is our first area and second area. So we just plug it in. So that would be 300 that's inches squared over area two is missing. So I can just go ahead and write a sub two and that is equal to the, uh, the, the um, side length of the first one, which is 13 inches. And then I'm going to square it over. The T is 22. That's gonna be 22 inches and then I am going to square it as well. So what's gonna happen here, once we square them, this would still be 300 inches squared over A sub two, which is missing. 13 squared is 169, that's inches squared. So you have inches times inches is inches squared. And then we have 22 squared is 484 that is inches um, squared. So then from here, we cross multiply. So we're gonna pair these two up and pair these two up. So our equation would come out to be, we pair these two up first, so that would be A sub two or area of the second picture times 169 inches squared is equal to, we pair these two up, so that would be 300, that is inches squared times 484 inches, so there's still inches squared. So then from here, we can go ahead and divide both sides by 169, well that's 169 inches squared. So I'm gonna divide this by 169 inches squared. So then we can cross out the 169 and 169. We can cross out the inches squared and the inches squared. So we're left with just an inches squared. So from here, we are going to simplify this. So this would be A sub two. So just uh, when we multiply 300 times 484, divided by 169, so our A2 here is, uh, it's gonna be a decimal, so 859.17, and the unit left here is inches squared, because all the re all the other in uh, inches squared have been crossed out. So this is the um, area of the second picture, so that's 859.17 inches squared, since these two are, um, similar uh, figure. At this time, I would encourage you to pause this video and try this problem out on your own. And when you're done, and pause it and check your answer. Okay, so we go over the problem here. So we are supposed to find the length of the uh, corresponding side here, which we can name this as x. So then we still have to use the same equation over here. So I put that, I put that in there. So I can go ahead and write a sub one here is 144. So that's 144 meters squared divided by the A2 is 256 meters squared is equal to the M, the first um, uh, side length. So that would be 12 meters squared over, that is X squared. 
So then we go ahead and cross multiply. I mean, let's simplify the 12 squared first. So this would be 144 meters squared over 256 meters squared. 12 squared times 12 squared is 144 meters squared and meter squared, a meter times meter is meter squared over x squared. So then from here, we cross multiply just like how we did on the uh, first example. So then we are left with, so we're gonna partner them up. So that would be x times 144 meters squared equals, that's gonna be 144 meters squared times, the partner is 256 meters squared. So then from here, we're gonna divide 144 meters squared. We're gonna divide this by 144 meter squared, so then we cross out the 144 and 144, we cross out the meter squared and meter squared. So then we are left with, oops, by the way, this one is supposed to be x squared right there, okay. So then we go ahead and write the uh, uh, rest of the parts here. So this would be x squared is equal to, when we are going to um, multiply these two, we can actually cross out the 144 as well. So 144 and 144. So then we are left with meter squared and 256. So then we are left with x squared is 256. But we want just the x. So what are we gonna do is we square root both sides so that we can cross out the squared and square root. And the square root of 256 is 16 meters. So this side length right here is equal to 16 meters. Did you get the same answers as this? Good, perfect. If you find this video helpful, hit like and subscribe for more math videos. See ya.